For the last time I walk down to the jetty I watch the ships arriving Unloading on the key For the last time I lost the news of Melbourne town But now I'm heading homewards Means nothing much to me I never thought that I would be The one so sad for leaving As they're loading down the houses From the town upon the hill It's a peculiar... Welcome everyone to another week Hunting down coins and maybe some relics Down here in Gippsland uh, Out here today with Scott I'll show you him in a sec Country racetrack uh, We have permission here uh, been here a couple of times before, lots of gold coins, lots of um, relics, uh, not, not relics, rubbish and stuff like that, but hopefully a lot of coins today. I'll show you Scott. He's already on the, he's already started. And I think last time, we, Robin and I were here, we got 50 odd bucks, I think, which was pretty good. But we haven't worked it um, much at all, so. Weather's looking okay at this stage. Uh, we might zip out to a primary school later on. But we're gonna have a good crack here. So I'll get back to you. So. Yeah? So first coin, folks. Uh, first hole, two bucks. Down about three, four inches. Uh, Scott's over there. Where he's going. Get back to the next one. So we've been here about oh, 45 minutes or so. Lots and lots of the brown buggers, a couple of goldies. We're pretty much the same, but Scott's just got his first pre decimal here. Yeah, she's a bit uh, beat up. Ru 1950 Rue Penny, I think he said. Yep. Yep. Just down there, not only maybe three, four inches deep. Yep. Under those trees here. So starting to rain a little bit so we'll keep going we've got a few coins but um not not what we were hoping for but no. we've got a few oh well, hopefully we'll get a few more beautiful so we have we've been here 40 minutes and a quick coin count and 14 coins between a seven and seven so a lot of brown buggers like i said before i think three two dollar coins between us and that penny that scott got so coin wise pretty good but quality wise not great so far, but they're in the ground. There is holes have been, there is, has been some, someone here, there's, we found a few holes, um, whether they also have a permission or not, I'm not sure, but um, there has been telltale signs that there have been people here, so. But anyway, the coins are still in the ground, so we'll get back to you. So just a bit of an update, folks. I think we've been here about an hour and a half now. Um, I think I've got about 10 coins, I'm pretty sure. Scott's probably up to about 20. He hasn't uh, moved from that area there. He's been digging a lot of brown buggers, I think, but a lot of coins and a lot of rubbish too. But he's very persistent. I've sort of wandered around and got a few, but I think he's smashing me. But yeah, we're getting some, but not, not great quality, but they are here. Some old, very old trees, if you look at that. That's up near where Scott got that penny. I'm just surprised there's not heaps of silver coins in the ground, but I think I've been here three or four times now, and not a single silver. So anyway, we'll keep on going. So I'm just doing a little bit of a summary. I think it's been just over two hours. Um, that's mine, uh, six $2 coins and seven brown buggers and there's Scott he was on a bit of a coin coin run there for a while under the trees and lots of lots of um, brown buggers hmm. and that penny how many all up there Scott no, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty six and a and a button and a an old button and that uh, and that penny which was pretty good so twenty six plus thirteen He's doubled me again, 39 coins in two hours. So it's not, that's not too bad, but we haven't um, 
the quality as, as such isn't fantastic. Um, few but few spendables, but and only with one pre-decimal. So, mm. but we've we've been working pretty hard. Dug a lot of holes. I know Scott has. I haven't dug as many as him, but um, there's a lot of rubbish in the ground. But we'll um, we'll carry on. We might move later on. Yep. Yep. Go and try a new location. Beautiful. Cheers, mate. No worries. So I'm just going to do a quick wrap, folks, before we move venues for a, a little stretch. Going to the primary school slash school camp after this. So I'll turn the camera around and show you what we've got to date. Scott smashed me. 32. So that's my little lot there, 17, I think. All $2 coins and two and one cent pieces. And Scott, 32, he tells me. Bloody hell. That's it, Penny. It's the only pre decimal we got. A couple of five cent pieces. 33. 33, found another one. Um, lots of one and two cent pieces. There's a heap of those in the ground here. Mm. A few, a few spendables. A couple of spendables, yeah. yeah maybe 20, oh, 20 bucks. Yeah. yeah, 20 bucks. It's pretty good. So 33 plus 17, 50 coins in three and a half hours we've been here. It's not bad. So it's not bad. So we're going to move. I'm going to. Test Scott out and see if he can get a few more out of the ground at that school that we've um, we've been quite successful at. So we'll see you there. So we've moved venues, folks. Been here about two minutes. Um, you've seen this place before a number of times. So I brought Scott here to see how he goes. He's got a couple of two cent coins already. He's digging a a 30 it tells me it's a bit of steel but my first hole um pretty happy with this this was a a 21 22 i've been over this ground a, a bit too and that's still given it's a silver you see it there so let's have a look yeah it's a ram's head um 19 i think that's 53 yep so that's great. All right, so got me first pre-decimal of the day. I promised a few pre-decimals here and it's already delivering. Scott's got himself a penny. Just a little roo penny. In an area that I've worked before. Mm. Got a date? No, he's pretty, pretty crusted. I'll have to clean him off to get a date off him. And that was... Yeah, quite. Two, maybe three inches. Yeah, if that. Yeah. So they're still here? Yep, hopefully we get a few more. Beautiful. Ooh. Scott's got another one pretty quick. Um, another penny. Yeah, another little roux, 1951. That one's a bit nicer, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit cleaner. Yeah, hopefully we can get a few. Right there. Oh, a bit deeper. A little bit it? deeper, yeah. Right along the edge here. And I reckon I walked over that just before, so it just shows you that you, you know, you just keep coming back to them. Yeah. So welcome to the wrap up, folks, of the day. Um, Scott uh, had to leave early, but he texted me, I think he got 40, 46 coins. Um, I got 24. Uh, you saw that one. Come out of the ground, that was the, probably the, the coin of the day. Um, some spendables, about 20 bucks in goldies. One and two cent pieces. Uh, a 52 rue that's been hit by the mower. Um, a key. Jim at MD Melbourne, he always likes to find keys. He reckons that's good luck. I think part of a 303 cartridge. And um, these two bits of uh, an old pocket knife that came out of the same hole. They were both reading about 23. And that's about it. So I think between us, 70 coins for the day, which is pretty good. And um, yeah, so Scott's off again and I'll catch up with him next time he gets back. And until next week, cheers.